the light gets like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you're a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it. I wanna see you. See how. Rewind. When we rewind. It feels so nice. So I was watching this video that Kim Pyre did the other day and. He was talking about Dr. Heavenly and Carlos King and how Dr. Heavenly spoke as to why she stopped doing the Messy Mondays with Carlos. And it was being alleged via Funky Dineva. That was why she stopped doing it. Um, the same way Melody fans got Marceau and Tisha's business uh, shut down temporarily, calling around and affecting people's stuff. And, and, and to Heavenly's point, she's like, this is my medical license, baby. All the internet stuff can go to hell. Y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm a doctor before I'm any of this. Y'all can have it. Um, Y'all doing too much. Oh, she said, Dr. Heavenly said it herself. Okay, so I'm not revealing nothing I wasn't supposed to reveal. On behalf of Dr. Heavenly, the reason she quit was because people who I guess she was trying to say identify as melometers were calling her actual dental practice and playing pranks and whatever else they were doing, like literally calling her dental practice because they didn't like some things that were being said on the Messy Mondays about Melody. I don't know if that is real. I don't know if that's true. But I really find it funny because it's kind of continuing the theme of this current season of Love and Marriage Huntsville where people love to blame those people that label themselves as melometers for a number of things that have happened with some of the other castmates. And if you have been watching this current season, the first half of it, which I haven't, but I've seen clips of it on Instagram, you would see people like the the Scots and whatever just saying how horrible and deplorable these people are and that they have done some despicable things. Now, while I will say that there may have been some people that are very fan, <laughs> not even so much fans, but I would say maybe stands of Melody that may have crossed the line and gone overboard with their adoration for her for some of the things that they have done. I don't think that is the majority of people that identify themselves as melometers. They may not like those people. While I will say that I'm not a melometer, I would think that people who really like Melody, if they didn't care for those other people, they just wouldn't watch them. I would just say that is how I feel and that's what I think. And I know that's definitely what I do when I don't really like somebody, unless I have to see something they have said or done or whatever, I'm not going to watch them. Like I can't stand Donald Trump, but because I do commentary about him, there are some things that I have to listen to and watch and read and whatever. And when I, I can't stand the dude, I can't stand the sound of his voice, but I'm not going to watch him just out of pure hatred because I just don't expend my energy in that way to nobody, like no one, no one is worth taking that energy from me to focus on them because I don't like them. So with that being said, when Funky Dineva said that the melometers were causing problems for the Scots and their restaurant. I found that very funny. I don't recall them ever saying that. From what I've seen and heard, it was definitely some issues going on, but I don't believe it had anything to do with melometers. Now, were there some people who identified as melometers that may have done some commentary or some video saying that they went to the restaurant and the restaurant wasn't open or closed? I mean, wasn't open and it was closed and was closed for a long period of time and they were reporting that. Yeah, I've seen that, but I haven't 
heard or seen anything where they were contacting city officials or licensing boards or offices or anything like that to cause these people to not be able to operate their business. So I've, I call BS on that because Funky Dineva, while he has a friendship with the Scots, I do feel that some of his personal feelings get wrapped up in how he feels about some of those people that identify as Melometers himself. So he kind of takes it over the line because even when it came to Kiki Jabbar, who unfortunately lost her life, he said some disparaging things about her with regard to how she came on the show and, and just, you know, just some very negative things that he said about her which I felt was very poor taste, especially when the woman isn't here anymore and was just kind of taking up the cause for Letitia and Marceau against Kiki, who is no longer here. So for him to blame Melometers for people contacting, allegedly, I will say, calling and contacting Dr. Heavenly's dental practice and harassing staff and and just, you know, doing pranks and whatever else that was allegedly happening. Who's to say that those people were melometers? Because I'm quite sure no one who was actually a melometer would contact Dr. Heavenly's office to say, yeah, I'm a melometer and I'm calling to say this and I'm calling to say that. Yeah, I'm a melometer and I'm calling the state board to report this office being dirty and nasty or whatever else. Like I'm just giving examples because I really don't know what these alleged calls entailed. But if someone contacted her office on a multitude of occasions and identified themselves as millimeters, I would venture to say that those people actually were not and they were trying to make those people who label themselves as millimeters look bad. I could see somebody like a Martell or Arion doing some things like that just to stir up more mess and drama because it would be something that would link to Melody. I'm just saying that. That could be far-fetched, I know, but I'm just basically saying when I heard this, I was like, I call BS on that. I don't really believe that anyone would contact Dr. Heavenly's office, identify themselves as melometers and cause problems for this woman's practice. I just don't see that. I really don't. From what I have seen, and this is just what I've seen. So correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I have seen, the majority of the people who identify themselves as melometers, they're not people who would go out of their way to do things like that. Now, they may comment on somebody's video or social media post or whatever in defense of Melody, but as far as as to contact Dr. Heavily's dental practice or other people's businesses or things like that, I don't believe that anyone that is that mature would do anything like that. They would just more so be in support of her, supporting her projects, buying her products, you know, purchasing things that she is endorsing or, you know, things like that. And just ready to spend their money on the stuff that she is selling. That's my personal opinion. Now, people who were doing things like going to Stormy's warehouse and stuff like that, those people I would see would be more like stands, but that wouldn't be behavior that Melody would endorse or encourage. That's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong, but you could let me know your thoughts in the comments. But when I heard that, I was like, I I just call BS on that. And I'm not even a millimeter. So I'm just basically saying in defense of what I have seen, I just don't, I just don't see that. So if that indeed did happen, I think that's whack to contact people's businesses to do stuff like that. It, it is harassment. Like I said, if that happened. It could very well be that that didn't happen. And Dr. Heavenly could be (laughs) just saying that as an out to get out of doing the Messy Mondays with Carlos because she just didn't want to be associated with doing that with him anymore. It's quite possible. It really is. Because I know that there are a lot of people that identify as millimeters that don't really care for Carlos King. So who knows? I'm just basically saying that I don't really believe that that is the case just like when Funky Dineva was saying that Kiki 
came on the show and caused problems with Tisha and Marcel and their marriage and came on there to, to do dirty work and stuff like that. I don't believe that either. And I did not understand why he would come out here and do that, especially after this woman passed away to say, you know, I don't feel no ways tired, you know, because she, it's like the woman is no longer here. She left behind a husband and children. Like, why would you do that? Like, what was the, what would be the point of saying those things? You could very well feel that because people have the right to feel how they want to feel, even if how you feel isn't correct. It's your feelings. I can't tell anyone how to feel, but I could definitely say that some things aren't worth saying, and I do feel that that was just not appropriate. I still stand on that. So to blame Melameters for things that were happening with the Scots business if they were not in compliance of some things that caused them to be shut down, how in the world would that be the Melameter's fault? Because I'm going to tell you, I mean, I've never dealt with anything like that, thank God, but I've dealt with hate before being in business and I've had people, I've had it happen, I should say, in the past where someone contacted like a state board and, and, you know, reported something and they came in, they did their little investigation and all was well and we were cleared. So if you have everything up to par, then even though it can be a headache and it can be annoying to have someone to contact some state boards or licensing offices or whatever to report your business, to have them check and see if something was wrong or making sure everything's on the up and up, that can be annoying and frustrating. But if everything is on the up and up, then nothing is going to happen to cause your business to get shut down. And that's my point of saying that. So even if that were to be the case with the millimeters or contacting licensing boards or offices or what have you about Black Cigar Lounge, if everything was on the up and up, it would not have caused their business to close down. So you can't blame the millimeters for that. You would have to put the blame at the Scott's feet if there was something not in compliance that caused them to be shut down until it got handled. Again, I don't know what all of the details were with that situation. So I'm just saying you can't blame other people for that business getting shut down if they had some things going on that were not supposed to be going on and then they got shut down until things were in compliance. I'm just saying. So when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I, I don't know about that. But again, I heard this on Campire's YouTube channel on a video that he did. I will put the full video link in the description box if you have not seen it. But I just call BS on that. I don't really believe that. But that's my personal opinion. Those are just my beliefs. If that was happening to Dr. Heavenly's office, then I don't think it's cool. But even if those annoying, harassing calls were coming through, I really don't believe anyone would contact her office who were actually millimeters and identify themselves as such and and do that. I just don't. So you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.